cracked down on massive parties during the pandemic. Videos posted on social media show YouTube star Jake, Cal Jake Paul's California mansion, and you see it right there. It was just a massive party. The mayor of Calabasas is now promising to take action. Kaylee Hartung is in California with the latest. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, good morning, George. We have talked about the cringeworthy and really dangerous concept of these so-called COVID parties before. Well, here in California, where cases are surging, there now seems to be this video evidence of a party that's so over the top, you have to see it to believe it. Controversial YouTube star Jake Paul under fire this morning for recklessly defying the rules in the city of Calabasas. They're holding onto the bulldozer like it's a bull. The video showing dozens of people packed into the 23-year-old's mansion in the upscale hills of Calabasas, playing drinking games, dancing, and yes, that's an excavator. The crowd appearing to completely disregard safety precautions. No social distancing, no masks. The videos outraging the city's mayor. I really could not believe that an event like this was taking place. We expect everyone in our community to act responsibly because we're in this together and we just cannot show such disregard. And while she hopes the backlash Paul's facing will deter any future parties, she says there will be repercussions for Paul or anyone else hosting parties against health orders. We're looking at all available options that we have from the city side and we're also working with the Lost Hill Sheriff Station to ensure that nothing like this ever happens again in our community, that there's a zero tolerance for parties like this. I'm young, I'm reckless, I'm gonna do what I want. Young people flagrantly ignoring health protocols captured coast to coast. In Washington state. If we go back into clothes like stage one, whatever, I'm still gonna go out. And New York City. But New York City DJ Greer Gray Newland says the risk of working these parties isn't worth it. I feel for people who need the money, but if your audience's safety, your first concern, you need to get another one because that's number one. Jake Paul has made a name for himself on social media by being controversial, and he's garnered millions of followers along the way. But since that video surfaced, he's declined our request for comment. George. Kaylee, thanks very much. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, for more on this. Dan, we're seeing these mask mandates pop up all across the country right now, bans on parties like the one we saw at Jake Paul's mansion. But the big question is, how do you enforce those rules? Yeah, and that's going to come down to the local municipalities. Each one is going to have to decide how aggressively they want to enforce it. When you hear the mayor of Calabasas say there's going to be a zero tolerance policy, you presume that there really could be. Uh, even arrests if this happened. Remember, the goal here from law enforcement is not to punish, it's to prevent, it's to protect. And so their first goal is if there is some kind of party like this, break it up, end it, get people away from each other. But if people are flaunting the law, particularly in areas where you're seeing increases in COVID, I think you're also gonna see increases in more aggressive efforts by law enforcement as well. Well, we saw that here in Rockland County, New York, upstate New York, they actually issued subpoenas to party goers uh, so they could do the contact tracing. Again, that's difficult to enforce. Yeah, but that was a very interesting way to force people to at least answer questions, right? That was a case where they were calling people and they were hanging up on them on the phone. You had people who were lying about whether they were at the parties, etc. And so New York said, you know what? We need eight of you to come in here and answer our questions. And by issuing a subpoena, if you refuse that subpoena, you could be fined. Look, I think as this increases more and more across the country, the focus is going to be more on prevention, stopping these events from happening, rather than necessarily just trying to deal with it after the fact. Dan Abrams, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.